For our forecast, we have a low pressure system, not a tropical one. We did have tropical moisture from a post tropical system yesterday, bringing in the high clouds, but now we have that low level moisture that's on the way. So this system looks to move in. It's an area of low pressure that currently is over northern portions of our state, but as it digs further south, that's going to bring in the rainfall. So the first batch looks to be tomorrow morning through the afternoon hours where we're looking at likely widespread rainfall. When all is said and done, we could have up to about three fourths of an inch for the coast, two and a half inches this week weekend for the valleys up to three inches in spots for the mountains and even the desert seeing about a quarter of an inch or less. So the first batch moves in and that will be tomorrow and then we have yet another area of low pressure that will move in. So it's just a dip in the jet stream sending this energy in our direction and that looks to maintain our rain chances. So repeat performance morning and afternoon hours likely widespread rainfall for our county across most of Southern California before it does exit out going into next week. They start to dry out by next week, but temperatures will not rebound by much. Taking a look at the in-house model, I want to go ahead and start around 1230 in the early morning hours for to, uh, tomorrow, and then also continuing to see the shower activity into about 9 a.m. So you are looking at pockets of heavier rainfall. That will be the case even downpours by tomorrow afternoon, and you're also seeing flurries in the mountains. We will have that snow level coming down to about 5,000 feet. Locally, we will see some of that snow around Pine Valley, also talking about Mount Laguna, but it's not going to be a lot less than an inch. Taking a look at our eight day microclimate forecast, a soggy weekend is in the works. We dry out by next week, but you're also looking at temperatures staying well below seasonal. That will be all across the board, back into the 70s for the desert by middle of the week, and that's on Veterans Day.